Hi guys, I'm going to put another fantasy football video on Sky. Back after another week of action in the Premier League. After another, what was a pretty poor week in terms of points in both of my teams really. I've not really, I've gone down a bit. Not too bad in my good team, but my bad team is already doing pretty poorly. 21,000, there we go. Um, and what is it in the league? Let's have a look. 538th, yep, not going too well. Um... As you see, I made two transfers, Ronaldo and Regulon out for Huang He Chan. He got me 10 points, the most points out of anybody, except for Ben Rama and this, my two captains. Um, I swapped in Salah for Ronaldo, he only got a thing. For some reason, I put my captain on Vardy that day, just in case he scored against Arsenal, but he didn't. So, two points, two points, five, pound, five point, points, points. Sanchez, and you got what? Oh, it's just a poor week overall. Nothing really happened. Um, Diaz did well to get seven points actually, considering they didn't get a clean sheet. Van Dyke got four, Chor with a solid seven. Ben Rama and Huang with the ten points coming in quite clutch. Saint Maximin, I've just kept him in for no reason really. Smith Rose, probably my best overall point scorer last week, got a goal. Um, and then Salah only got an assist, and Vardy got a yellow card and got. Only one point into two, so not too well in terms of what happened there. Um, so that team's done an absolute shocker, really. Uh, 58 points probably could have been worse, to be honest, but you know, um, <clears throat> pretty poor. It's, it's pretty dead at the minute. Oh, I can't see it getting much better. I'll transfer in Salah just to try and get some sort of points on the board every week, but you know, I don't really care too much anyway. I'm a good team, not a Great week, but not the worst. 69 points. Not bad. Um, where to start? Um, I transferred out Markel because he was injured and didn't play on Monday. I transferred in Liveramento because he's got the captain day on Friday against Villa. Um, and he got a juicy 7 points against Watford, so I was pretty good. Mendy got me 9 points. Chalaba didn't play, which I was expecting, to be fair. So my Saturday was alright. I kept Ronaldo because I thought i just got to keep him for now. And he, fair play, got a goal. Put my capture on Salah that day, though, so I got 10 points off him. Nothing much on the midfield, except for, well, we'll start with the defence, actually. Uh, Trent and Kinsella did absolutely nothing, really. Trent did well to do the passing bonus, of work, as I think, to be fair. Um, Antonio, and they, on my Sunday, it fell apart, really, because what happened is, put my capture on Antonio, did nothing against Villa, despite them winning 4-1. He didn't even get an assist. It looked like he might have had one, but they decided to do that extra one pass. I mean, it was just unlucky. He didn't get at least an assist. Uh, I could have put it on Rafinha, though. He did get me my most points this week. He got me 14. If I captained him, like so many other people, I would be right in the top ranks. I probably would have been a bit higher. Probably been in top 1,500, I would have said, maybe. Maybe that's a bit much, actually. But top, I, I probably would have improved on my position from last week, anyway. Um... And then on Monday night, Gray did nothing. And uh, I'm actually going to talk about that now because I think my strategy for the next week is this. I'm, I've got the captain on Friday, obviously, which is good. And we're starting to get into the fixture runs here. So this week, then it's international break. That's the last one before Christmas, though. So we've got a big run of fixtures coming up now after the, the game week 15 for Sky, this is. Game week 16 is a double game week. So this is where it gets into the tough end of the season. In the middle way, you've got games on the Tuesday nights and midweek, so it's getting quite hectic, the fixture schedule. So you've got lots of um, people playing every night. Um, so you've got to have quite a wide range of players from every club. You can't just have about three or four from one club because they won't bail you out. You've got to have a few from each because there's going to be a lot of chopping and changing as well. So it's, it's hard to predict who's going to play. you obviously got to play Pep Roulette, as they like to say. Um it's going to be hard, but my plan anyway this week is to transfer out to Mari Gray, and I'm looking at Chalibur as well, those two are my two that are most likely to go at the minute. Antonio's not safe as well, to be fair, I think he's in danger of going, um, but definitely Gray, he is, he's underperforming, I think, he's, it's not very, I know consistency is not a lot, but look, 2 points, 5 points, it's not a lot, but it's consistent, he's in top 46% of top 1k team so you know he's owned by a lot of people but my my I what my mistake I made last week and my pl my plague has been all season is this man I'm about to get up on screen now um it'll be most selected by quite a lot 
Here he is, Conor Gallagher. He's had an absolute stunning season so far. <coughs> oh, sorry. Why do I always sneeze? Jesus Christ. Um, He's had a pretty good season. He's had a few two-pointers here and there. But last week, you're going to see 18 points. I mean, he's just having an absolute stormer at the minute. Um, He doesn't play in a lot of captain days, so he's playing at 3 o'clock quite a lot. But that doesn't really matter. He's got good fixtures. Like, next four are pretty good. After that's not even that bad. So I've got to get him in, really, because... <coughs> oh, God, I'm having a sneeze. But... So many other people have him, I really fell behind if I had him. I was looking to get him in before the Man City game, for the Newcastle game, actually, but I decided against it. I'm not sure who else I put in. I put somebody else in, I think. I just didn't make the move anyway. Um, And I've been, I've been treading ever since, really, and I've been thinking, right, how do I get him in? How do I get him in? I was thinking just get out Chalibur, but then I thought, well, Chalibur's got the... um. The um, he's got a burning game this week. If he plays, he'll get points. But I just can't guarantee he'll play. I know Demar Gray, Gray will play because he's always started for Everton this season. But then Chalabar has that kick off, so you can see the lineups on that twelve thirty after the international break. I think oh, I'll just transfer out then. But I think if I do it then, it might just be a bit too late. Although it does save a transfer because what I might do is. If I transfer out Gray for Gallagher this weekend, I will then, after the international break, I will probably look at Chalibur, see if he's starting that last game. If he doesn't start, I'll probably transfer him out for somebody else, possibly another Chelsea defender, whoever starts, because I, I will have quite a lot of money in the bank. I'm not set on that yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get Gray out into Gallagher. Um, So that's my plan for the weekend ahead, going into the international break. Um, in terms of this team, it's just like let it let it lie, let it ride this weekend. There's not a lot of point in changing anyone. Um, obviously Sanchez and goal is not a very good option at the minute. He's been got pretty poor fixtures, but I'll keep him for a bit longer just to see what happens. You know, with him. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's go on to where I am in the league. I am fifty second. Fred Swiss benefits fifth in the league. See, he's got he's got Gallagher. He's got Rafinha. He had a Bami Aang put in Watkins, that's interesting. Um Mendy, yeah, Rudiger's very key at the minute. He's uh, yeah. I'll probably get him in for Chalabar if I can, hopefully. Um in terms of my week last week, it's not the worst, not the best, obviously. This guy, what's he yeah, if you've got Gallagher, I mean you're just sorted really, aren't you? Um in terms of the leaderboard I am two thousand two hundred, so I have taken a bit of a drop out of the top two K. He's doing well here. This guy, he's got Gallagher. There we go. He's had Bowen as well. God. Reese James with a massive point I saw him last, se last week as well against Newcastle. Two goals. Um, It's just mad at the minute. It's just so many, so many people playing. Um, so many. The Chelsea defenders are doing so well. They're just like, if you don't have a Chelsea defender, if you don't have Edouard Mendy at goal, you're pretty much done for. Anyway, onto the stats. We'll have a look at the team of the week first. Aaron Ramsdale in goal. Gabriel. There you go, James, Johnson, Gallagher, Rafinha, Trossard, Bowen, Ronaldo up front. Probably saved my weekend, to be fair. Imagine if I transferred him out, that would not have ended well. Declan Rice is looking like a bit more of an option. Oh, that's James. He's he's quite a... He's, he's always going to start, obviously. He, the only problem is he's only going to get you four or five points. But look, he's 7.4 million. It's almost worth it. Like... I, I was considering him for a bit, but I just thought, oof, is it worth it? But I might look to him later in the season when it gets a bit, when he gets like a bit more games because he's going to he's obviously going to play every game. They're going to have to rest him for some though, so you know. Uh, Salah obviously just miles clear of everybody else. Um, captains were on Rafinha and Antonio, a bit like me, but. Bit of a mistake there from me. Uh, Tielemans getting transferred in. It's quite surprising actually. He didn't get too much against Arsenal last week, but he's having he's been having a good bit of form. Kovacic out. Obviously he's got injured. Obviously Pogba a card. Alonso still going out. Um. So yeah. So it's been it was an all right week last week, but it wasn't it wasn't the best. But you know, we move on from that. We we keep going. Um. I gotta keep going. Um. Well, see, I say, yeah, my plan is there to um change into Gallagher. I got, I just got to get Gallagher in as soon as possible. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. 
Um, hopefully, I'll get a better, bit better week this week. I got, I got, a, I got a good strategy. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.